The June 9th motion filed by the U.S. Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division calls for the appointment of a federal receiver to execute the terms of the consent decree the Virgin Islands Bureau of Corrections has been under for the last 25 years. U.S. DOJ officials in their claim allege that the VI Bureau of Corrections is unable to control the escalating violence that's housed within these gates that you see here behind me. In fact, a press release from U.S. DOJ states that despite ongoing efforts by a special master appointed in 2006 by the court to remedy contempt findings, violence at the Golden Grove Adult Correctional Facility has escalated over the past several months, including multiple stabbings. Justice officials say a federal receiver would address numerous ongoing deficiencies, including the BOC's failure to maintain adequate staffing, appropriately classify and separate violent prisoners, systematically prevent and detect contraband, and provide adequate medical and mental health care, just to name a few. Although the VI Attorney General's office declined to comment, a Daily News report states that they are fighting the move, arguing that the Territory and the Corrections Bureau have the commitment and ability to meet the consent decree mandates on their own. The U.S. DOJ on July 22nd filed a motion to seal the first 10 exhibits in their reply to the VI government's opposition in an effort to protect personal information and the security at Golden Grove, but Exhibit 11 provided the credentials of one Dr. Ronald Shansky, who has extensive expertise and success as a receiver. Erica Parsons, News 2.